that way. The only option, the only other option would be to demolish the whole bunk room and to start from scratch. And then you have to accommodate the person who lived there, you have to provide shower, you have to provide a place to, to do what they need to do. And in this case, it's not just a shower, it's also a toilet, so it's complicated the matter even more. So that's when it's finished. Give me another one there. So just if you have a got a look back at this one here, again, you can see that the opening is pretty close to the uh, shower screen, which is a glass shower screen, and you have to make sure you don't damage the shower screen. So that's again, that was about five centimeters. That's another look of the tubway, of this angle. And just to show you that was really, we were limited to the space we could do it. We had to go as far as we could. Now, the height of the opening of the bathtub, it's approximately five inches. Now, that will depend on the way the bathtub was set originally. If somebody decided to have the bathtub higher than normal, obviously, we couldn't cut it right below because that's, that's impossible. So in this case, it was a little bit higher than normal, but still made it much easier for the person to get in. Now, what we have here, it's a cast iron bathtub with texture slate tiles. Now we have a sliding door. We have to remove the sliding doors. And that's the way it looks when it's finished. Now that job in Janelli, Janelli was made for a gentleman. Uh, he was about 85 years old. They've been using a transfer bench, but the transfer bench really didn't do much for them. You can sit on the transfer bench, but then you have to lift the legs up and to get them in. So it did, didn't help much. So when you have that one, then obviously it's much easier for them. Okay, that's another bathtub for a lady that she went to a hospital. She's 90, 90 years old. She went to a hospital, and when she came home, she couldn't have a shower without a carer. So she waited for the carer to come. They couldn't organize a carer for her for a few days. And then uh, they called me to see what can be done. Well, she couldn't get into the bathtub by herself to start with, let alone have a shower, because she was worried she might fall. So we did that for her. And this lady started to have a shower by herself, getting in and out, having a shower by herself, and she was very, very happy. That the shower hub was built by the person himself when he was younger, obviously, and he built it a little bit higher than the normal height of the shower of the shower hub. And the purpose was, he told me that uh, he thought maybe he can have a bathtub in it when he wanted. You know, it wasn't very practical, but when he got older, you can see he was using this transfer bench to get in and out with it, but <coughs> still he had difficulties with it. So we did the opening for him. That's how it looked before. Now, when you sit on the transfer bench, when you have an opening like this, you can transfer yourself inside and have a shower, and you don't have to lift up the legs. So most people can do it by themselves. Now, here you have the uh, tub modification system. That's the uh, inspection form. If anybody wants to know what details you should send us, so those are all the details you should send, and we can, most of the time, quote it over the phone. Now, in the file that you have, you got all the information that you need about the tubway. If you have any questions, you can always give me a call. You, got, you can call me on the mobile, or you can send me an email and ask the question you want. Uh, as I said, the, the whole slideshow that we've seen here, it's in the CD that you received in the files, and uh, that's all what we have to do by now. Now, any question by anyone? Anybody wants to know anything? Can I just ask, some of those baths had the shower screen all the way around. If you have to take the shower screen off the path, put the cut away in, will you provide the new shower curtain? No, we don't provide the shower curtain, uh, but what you do, you just have the shower curtain reduced on the height. So normally, what we suggest, for people who have the 
shark screen, the uh, shark curtain, and you have the hooks, the rings. So we suggested to a few people, and they took it, and it's quite good. What you do, you just add one or two more rings to reduce the height. The shower curtain will be just below the opening, and the water won't splash to the outside. What's your minimum height from the floor waste, uh, from your bath waste? Inside? Inside, yeah. About three inches. That's, that's uh, quite enough to have a shower. So you create a shower recess. Yeah. The cost involved, does it vary really with the type of bathtub, like a fiberglass, frisk metal, or cast iron? So, what, what, okay. so, the cost involved, the money the cost that involved, the client yeah. spends to get this modification. Yeah, yeah. okay. Does they, it vary really with the type of bathtub? Like yeah, it will make a difference between the cost. The cost involved will be different between uh, cast iron or acrylic, okay? What's the range like? Well, the, you see, it's not only the type of bathtub, mm -hmm. it's all the all general condition. Depends what's the entry to the place, how big is the bathtub, we have to come in with the machinery. We have, we have specialized machinery that we, uh, we made it ourselves. And those machinery can be pulled to a few pieces and built on the spot. But still, if you have a small area of a bathtub, of a bathroom to work with, that's increased the cost because it makes it harder to do. But for the question of the cost, you'll be looking around at 1800 to $2,000. That will be the cost of modification in comparison with 15 or sometime yeah. up to $20,000. Yeah. So that's the cost of that's the cost of the tubway uh, project itself. Now, if you compare it to other options that you have, I would say probably you have you save about 70, 75 percent on the cost. That's number one, and number two, you have to provide accommodation for the person. So normally, if it'll take two week or two weeks to do two uh, week or two weeks yeah. to do the job, yeah. that's fiberglass that's that you repair the cut out with. Big pardon? Is it fiberglass that you repair the cut out with? No, it's not a fiberglass. It's a multiple multiple. It's an acrylic mixture, and it's very tough. Mm -hmm. And uh, all the material we we use, it's superior material. And uh, that's why we give a lifetime guarantee. For the cut down hob? Yeah. Okay, for that one you did. Roughly what that cost? Uh, the cut down hob, but that one here, it was $1,700. So you had uh, also a shower screen to remove. You had to take the rail, the bottom rail. But normally, they all, all the type of modification will take roughly a day. So we come in the morning and we live in the evening. It's not a job that you do in half a day. If you want to do a good job, you have to be there really the whole day. And we explain that to the customer. You have a team of occupational therapists who put rails with modifications? Ra yeah, we put rails too. Yeah. Is it new rail or do you have yeah, an occupational therapist that you hire? No, we put the rail ourselves. We don't, we don't hire other people from the outside. We do all the job ourselves. We don't hire people. We don't finish out our jobs. Mm -hmm. We do our job ourselves. We, took, we take responsibility for whatever we do. Yeah. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to give a lifetime guarantee. Is that all? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much for coming. I, uh, yeah. I had a call from the uh, housing uh, office yeah. from uh, Peter Weeks. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Because somebody, somebody called me, I remember you mentioned that, that they might be interested when they called me. Yeah. And I thought that it was from you. Yeah.
still a little bit. You can leave it today, or you want to send it today? Or what's the, uh, no, I can send it today. Can you send it out? Oh, how can I get it? So you got, you got